for high school students, it looks like they will be available to get vaccinated in the beginning of the fall, very likely for the fall term. With regard to children, we're doing an, AIDS de uh, an age de-escalation study in elementary school children from 12 to 9, 9 to 6, 6 to 2, and two mo six months to two years. We anticipate we'll have enough data to be able to vaccinate these younger children by the first quarter of 2022. So the next one's about implications for childhood vaccination and it's should children be vaccinated the way they are for measles and what do we need to know and study before childhood vaccination is even considered? Oh, nice one for you, Jenny. Are you up for that one? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> I would love to. Well, I guess, uh, of course, I think the first thing is that we need, you know, if we are considering mass vaccination of children, we need to test the vaccines in children. So that's kind of a no brainer. Uh, but I would also say, and I, and I kind of presented a bunch of data that the idea of mass vaccinating children long into the future, such that we provide this long lasting immunity that's gonna lead to disease, at least local eradication, seems extremely unlikely because immunity, transmission blocking immunity is so much shorter. And that than it is, for example, for measles. And then if we look at the severity of disease in children, I would say it seems like it may not be necessary and in fact may have a downside if we vaccinate all children instead of allowing for natural infection. And so what we do in the next few months regarding or the next year even regarding vaccinating children, I think is more of a toss up for me. But in the long run, it's, it's hard for me to see unless cases become more severe in children, why we would want them to be getting vaccine induced rather than a natural infection induced immunity to something that likely would be no worse than one of the other endemic coronaviruses in those children. So I guess the key things are to be measuring uh, disease severity in young children um, and, and how that changes with variants and looking at long-term consequences of COVID in young children. But if all of those play out the way we see, I would say we're not gonna build up herd immunity by vaccinating children, and we're probably not really gonna be reducing deaths either.